Good day, everybody. Happy Friday. And a big thank you for being here with me today on August 30th. I'm Kathy. Warm welcome to Yarn with Heart, everyone. Those who've been here for a while and those who've stopped by for the first time. If you are a person who loves yarn and loves to knit or crochet or any of those three, please do grab your cup and let's chat. I'm so happy that you're here. Uh, we usually start with a question of the day and the question today is, I'm interested to hear from you either in the comments or you can email me. What do you do when your project um, starts okay. curling? And here is my actual picture. I'll put it up here. Um, and believe me, it was full on curl that would have made Shirley Temple proud. Um, I tried using my hands to straighten things out quite a few times. And then, um, yeah, that didn't work. And I knew because it was acrylic that... I wasn't going to have a really good chance at being able to block it straight. So there we go. I'm going to put a second picture. This was my solution, the after picture. Now this yarn is becoming something else now. It is becoming granny squares. I decided to crochet with it. And maybe this yarn just wasn't meant to be knitted. What do you think? So it will be fun to hear from you in the comments. Has your crochet or knitting ever been this unruly? And what did you do? Maybe it wasn't curling. Maybe it was doing something else. I'd love to hear from you and what you did in that case. So now today, the video will be a little different than usual. I will be chatting with you about the Berry Fiber Spirit Festival, and of course, opening a second Aberdeen's mystery bag. Um, this will be at the end of the video when I do the Aberdeen's bag. So anyone who doesn't want to see the yarn until September will have plenty of time to look away and still have surprises next month. Please remember that not all the yarns I show from Aberdeen's will be in the September gifts from me, and there will still be plenty of surprises next month. So not much new on my needles and hook from this week. Jeff has been on holiday from work, and I took a bit of a holiday too, I think. The only new item is that granny square blanket that I've been working on. And maybe I'll save uh, information about that until next week. I did have such a wonderful time last Monday night. And after a minute of, or two on Shannon's uh, live, I was very much at home and settled right in. Um, as I was a guest there on Shannon's channel. Her channel is called Art Junkie, in case anyone would like to pop over there and have a behind-the-scenes look at Yarn With Heart. Uh, Shannon asked me some great questions, and there were a couple of questions from the chat for me as well. So thank you so much to everyone for the encouraging comments here on last week's video. And thank you to people who were there during the live and who commented during Shannon's chat. It really did bring me courage and helped me to try to do something that I had never tried and never thought I'd be able to do. Um, next week, um, I hope to chat next week. I'll have a finished knit blanket that I had have had on my needles for a while and an update on that granny square blanket. 
um, I will be showing a third mystery bag of yarn from Aberdeen's Wool next week as well. So thank you so much to everyone for the likes, comments, and for sharing on my channel. If you'd like to subscribe and ring the notification bell, you won't miss the next video on September 6th. Wow, um, September already is coming. It's come so quickly this year. So let's start by chatting about the festival called the Fiber Spirit 2024. I learned that I think it's the fifth year that they've been having that festival. And actually, this is the first year that I heard about it. So I live not too far from Barrie and I don't know where, how it's happened that I've only just heard about it now this year. I will type how to find Fiber Spirit website in the uh, description box and they have a spot there where you can find information to the vendors and I will also put a little bit of information about how to find the vendors down below as well. Um, but if you do look at the Fiber Spirit site, they have um, links directly to there. There were over 45 booths there and I can only feature a small number of them because of time. Um, some of the booths were about yarn and I also tried to mention booths that featured other non-yarn things here also. Now I just noticed that I don't have my um, light turned on. Let me see if I can put a little light on the situation so that you can see some of these goodies a little clearer. So the first one, the first place we even did make a purchase was called Val, V-A-L, Fibers. It was an indie dye studio where color inspiration is often from nature. I notice a lot of what I'm drawn to has colors from nature. She um, chooses colors from flowers, lakes, sunrises, sunsets, and the textures also from the natural world. She's located in Ontario, Canada, and her wool is from Cruelty Free Farms, where sheep are treated with care and respect. So on their website, I noticed they offered MCN, uh, Merino, BFL, and Polworth. And at this location, I got some beautiful minis. These are made with Merino, Nylon, and Stellina. So I'll show you. There we go. So here's the colors in the minis. And I don't, I'm not going to take them out of the bag. It'll take so much time. But there we go. There's the minis. And the name of these is called Frozen, in case anyone wanted to look that up on her website. Yeah. And again, information will be. Um, down in the description box or yeah you could look there if you wanted. I got some of her individual minis as well. They're really soft, super soft. There we go. So that was the first stop. I've got a little box here where I'm putting all my goodies after I show them to you. Now the second place that I took some pictures was actually not um, specifically yarn, but someone who uses yarn to make beautiful things. I'm going to have some pictures to show as well. She's Her name is Alina Molef, and her beautiful wool animals that she makes are made by felting. She does have an Instagram. Um, I purchased a gift from her. And as, um, as I said, I'll show some, a picture of some of the other things that she had on sale. Um, Jeff was asking her about a little bit about some of the things she makes. And 
She said some of her creations take seven to eight hours to complete. Here's her card. And this is what I purchased. And I think this will be a gift I will give to someone special. Look at this little goose. And even with a scarf on it, I think that's so sweet. And the little, little wings. So I really, really appreciated the time and the artistry that went into those things. So that's the second place that I was looking. Now the third one that I wanted to speak about a little bit, I didn't purchase from here, but it was very a very interesting booth. I'm not able to say too much about about it they were very popular and it was crowded so I only was just barely able to have a chance to ask one of the vendors if it would be okay to take a couple of pictures and to show them here so I'll, I'll show up here um, yeah maybe someone in the chat knows more about yarn somniacs and can share information about them in the comments area. What I was able to learn on their Facebook page is that they have a permaculture-based yarn farm, yarn farm in Prince Edward County, and they offer hand-spun llama and Swedish sheep wool, feltable fiber, and more. And I was very interested in seeing the unprocessed fibers and the machines that they had on display at the booth. I think it might have been a carding machine. I thought that was really, really interesting. So I took pictures and showed them here. Yeah, the next place, yes, I did have a purchase from there, is Amaranth Fibers. And here's their card. Um, they offer yarns using a number of different bases, BFL, Superwash Merino, Kid Mohair Silk with a Silk Blend, and half Merino, half Bamboo, which I'd never heard before, Merino Nylon Blend. Um, Morgan is the indie dyer. She's knit since childhood and also spins yarn. And she gets, again, inspiration from colors, for colors from nature and loves to pair classic neutrals with a bright pop of color. And some of her most recent inspirations come from crystals. Um, I purchased two of Morgan's Kid Mohair Silk Blend Hanks. So here's one of them. This is a one of a kind seconds hank. I don't see a name on it. It's a lace weight. Look at the colors in there. And the other is Sapphire. And again, Kid Silk Cloud. 70% mohair, 30% silk. So, yeah, I purchased these two, and I hope that someone I had in mind will really enjoy those. I'm going to be gifting those. Now, the next stop was to a very friendly trio of vendors who offered yarn and notions and handmade bags for projects. A combo of, uh, there were two places that I have cards from. One is bunny mushroom bags. And the other called odd cat yarn.
Yeah. So, um, here I got the cutest little chicken for a gift to someone. And also I got a few more minis and some other little things that I couldn't resist. So this chicken, I understand it's for a pin cushion. It's filled with emery. And what they, what the lady said is that emery is actually, when you use this to put your needles or your pins in, it keeps your, um, your pins and needles in good condition, keeps them sharp and uh, rust free. So I thought, oh, that's really interesting. And I had never heard of that before. So that was quite good. And they had some little buttons. They hand make their buttons and the buttons are in the shape of a heart. So yarn with heart, I couldn't resist those little buttons. And for the yarn, she helped me to match the colors with some of the minis that I already had. And these also have um, Stellina in them. Let me double check what they're... Yeah, they're Merino, Cashmere, and Silver Stellina. And I got three. And this is from um, a little... It's uh, Odd Cat Yarn. And I think she likes to do one-of-a-kind yarns. Yep, and I showed you the cards already. Now the next spot was a cute shot by Dragonfly by April. And since so many of us like gnomes, I couldn't resist a picture of these cuties that were at the Dragonfly booth. Um, she has lovely stitch markers there. And of course, these very cute gnomes. Uh, and the pattern, what a lovely pattern for the gnomes by Sarah Skira, S-C-H-I-R-A. And it's wonderful that April is happy to fill special orders. Now, the next thing Jeff found for me, um, he found something and bought it for me as a treat, and it will be so helpful for me. It came from a place called Capola Vero Creations. They make handmade products out of artisanal wood and resin and she was at the festival here's her card oops there we go she was showing pens individual crochet hooks and crochet hook sets i'm going to show pictures of those i believe she also can offer key racks and charcuterie boards and um, the pens that she makes are very well made. Uh, Jeff bought me one and we are hoping that it will make writing easier and more comfortable for me. So this is the pen and many, many thanks to Jeff for this. And this is one of the pens that she um, handmade from resin. So the, um, the next place would be Pine and Pearl. We've heard of Pine and Pearl, and I had fun looking at the project bags, mugs, and accessories at this booth, and they even had some hand-dyed yarn. Yes, I couldn't leave without a couple of things for friends. Jeff helped me pick one of the project bags. Froggy, terrible, would not recommend it, says every knitter. I would say every crocheter as well. And I got some, um, I guess, 
needle stoppers, but I'm not going to show those. Those are a, a treat for somebody, and if I show what they are, she'll know who, who she'll know what. it won't be a surprise for her. So I'm not going to show what those are. Oops. Sorry, I just banged my table leg here. And just two places left on her, oh, three places left on her whistle stop tour of the Fiber Fest. Um, one is Mindful Yarns and Fibers. Now, this was one of my favorite. Everything there uses natural dyes. The fibers are a selection of organic, local, and ethically produced yarns. I keep thinking about the linen silk blend that I saw, and I might need to drive to the Kitchener Waterloo Knitters Fair that's coming up on September 9th, specifically to buy some of that. I'm trying to resist until I I'm sure that I can use fingering weight yarn though. But I did get these two, and again for gift for someone. This one is merino silk and cashmere fingering weight yarn. And this is again the same merino silk and cashmere. and so, so soft. And here's the cart. couple of small items again for gifts. This was from Howling Hill Studio. I'm going to show a picture of how this works because it's easier in a picture rather than trying to demonstrate it. Uh, Heather, who owns this studio, is so very creative and has a long background as a maker. And at the show, she had a great selection of handmade items, everything from stitch markers to jewelry to leather notions, like this leather uh, shawl cow or cowl cuff. And I got one of these, and I'm going to include it with a handmade shawl or cowl for a holiday gift. Also, I couldn't resist getting one of her circular stitch marker, uh, circular um, needle holders so that when I have a really long cord for my knitting needle, it'll help to hold it, uh, tame it a bit when I'm not knitting. So I thought that was quite ingenious. So yeah, at the moment her Etsy shop isn't open, I checked, but um, I'll be favoriting there, and I'll be watching for her to be back. Yeah. And the final stop would be at Artists and Artists Anthropy Fiber Arts. That's an, a brick and mortar shop from Ontario, and they and carry at many the festival. The best surprise was they were another of the booths that had non-wool available. Yeah, I don't think I mentioned the last um, yarn that I showed at Mindful Yarns. She had a beautiful silk linen blend, and that's what um, I might be watching for to pick up there. So, yeah, those were the two that really, the two booths that, I'm really excited as a non-wool user. Yeah. So the, the ones that caught my eye, they had sheepsies, both cakes, and sweet boxes of minis. 
they had Brocotilli, Estelle, and some by Lang. Um, the ones that were by Tilly and the uh, Lang ones had something called Cupro in it, which I was surprised to find is derived from cotton and a vegan alternative to silk. So what an interesting thing. Now, what I did purchase, this was my purchase for me, Jeff, well, from Jeff for me. Um, this is by Estelle. It's called Linacott. He helped me to pick the colors. I think he really likes green, and that was the one that caught his eye. This one is color taupe, and this one is in the color forest. So those two colors really look wonderful together. I think Jeff chose really well. Day. So I was so happy with that and um, we'll definitely be going again. It'll be on my calendar for next year. So please don't turn the video off yet. Important information here um, before I show another of the Aberdeen's mystery bags. Those are the ones that I purchased in July. I noticed that Aberdeen's has a faded glass infinity cowl kit on their site. That really caught my attention as there are a bunch of minis and a full skein of Barocco fine wool in the kit and it's available while quantities last for pre-order and it will start to ship the last week of September. So as some of you know, August is a no yarn buying month for me. So I'm hoping there still will be one left in September for me because it would be a lovely, I think it'll make a lovely gift for a friend who likes to use uh, wool. So Heather has a Kofi and she is knitting sponsored stitches during her continuing recovery. And I will be sure that her Kofi information is in the description box in case anyone would like to sponsor a stitch for her. Starting on last week's video on each of my videos until my YouTube anniversary in September, whenever I see a comment on my videos, I will put something, Ooh, where is it? Oh, here it is. I will put something in this little bank for Heather's Kofi account. So far, when I weighed it this morning, the bank weighed 11 and a quarter ounces. I'm putting in a combination of nickels, dimes, quarters, and sometimes loonies and toonies. Um, your comment can be an emoji, an answer to the question of the week, or saying hello, any comment will do. Then on September 27th, um, on my actual anniversary video, I will have the piggy bank open and find out the amount your comments will be sending to Heather's Kofi. So, and just wanted to let everyone know that when it comes to the mystery bags, I will be showing one of those lovelies each week for a total of five weeks. If you missed the first one, you can check the playlist and see there will be five mystery bags in all. And now the spoil alert. Time for people who don't want to see the yarn until September to step away because here comes the Aberdeen's mystery bag number two. So here we go. So this one, I think this bag is one of the crochet bags. It says C2 on it right there. So I think today's bag will be crochet. And we'll start with the patterns. Okay, 
the first pattern is called cordial shawl. Uh, no, cordial cowl. And the second on butterfly wings. That's pretty. That will make a really pretty um, prayer shawl. And the third one is called corrugated cow. And that's, they're all three such pretty ones. Look at that. Okay. Now let's see what the yarn is today. Oh, there's two of these. And these are Look at the color, wow. KFI Luxury Collection Indulgence Brushed Merino, Extra Fine Merino Wool Blend. I think the color is Empire de Soleil, color five. It is 60% merino wool, 30% acrylic. It's 100 grams. 219 yards. Um, it's a number five bulky suggested crochet and it's got suggested crochet gauge here and it says for crochet hook use a 6.5 to a nine millimeter hook. Oh wow look at the halo on that. Isn't that pretty? Two of those. I love those popping colors. And two of these. There. I'll let you two. I'll let you read the name of the company I can't pronounce. Confetti Yarn and the color Rio Musical, color 103, 100% organic cotton, 100 grams, 3.52 ounces, and 306 yards. And there's two of them. So pretty. Look at those. It's got some pink and a little orange and teal. And almost like a caramel color in here. Oh, beautiful. And it's on an ivory base. That's gorgeous. And there's two more. Oh, wow. People who watched last week, or if you wanted to pop over to last week, this is Ella Ray Cozy Alpaca Chunky. There's two of these in here. This one is Ecotex Certified Machine Washable Baby Alpaca Blend. 70% acrylic, 30% alpaca. It's so soft. Wow. Color five, two, three. Made in Peru for knitting fever. Um, suggested needles. I think it says 5.5 .5 to 8 millimeter needles. So nice. Here, it's a little bright there, I think. There, that's the color right there. 
so pretty. So those are the yarns in today's mystery bag. So to everybody, thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful week. Enjoy your crochet. Enjoy your knitting. And I hope to see you next Friday.